Welp, Foolish Goods being limited hurts a lot of water decks, Ice Jades, Yumi Control, Sharks, and yes, Coelacanth. We can talk later for alternatives for Foolish Goods in our water decks, but for now I want to talk about the Water Attribute event. We're going to bring out the big fish to show everyone Konami made a big mistake. So this deck is basically the same Coelacanth deck that Turbo's Barrier Statue, but with Barrier Statue banned, we're going to have to summon another monster. So in this deck, we're going to be summoning Coelacanth from the hand, using Abyss Keeper or Ice Jade Tremora. Once you get it on the field, you can special summon 4 fish from the deck, a level 1 tuner, a level 1 monster, a level 3 tuner, and a level 4 fish. Then using Coelacanth and 2 level 1s, we'll Synchro Summon into Trishula Dragon of the Ice Barrier. We'll use this card to banish one card from their hand. Then we'll Synchro Summon into Monoceros to bring Coelacanth back. Then we'll link away our two extra deck monsters into Marinta's Coral Anemone. Then use Coelacanth to summon 4 fish from the deck, this time a level 3 tuner and 3 level 4 fish. Using Coelacanth and the level 3 tuner, we'll Synchro Summon into a level 10 Synchro. And then using 2 level 4 fish, we'll Exe Summon into a rank 4 Exe. An enemy will bring back our level 3 tuner. That tuner will summon a level 1 monster from the graveyard. and then we'll Synchro Summon into Prima Donna. Prima Donna targets the Banished card, summoning a Marincis Blue Tang from the deck. Blue Tang activates its effect to send Seahorse to the graveyard. We'll then link into Blue Slug. Blue Slug will target the Seahorse to add it to our hand. And Blue Tang will excavate the top three cards of our deck and add any Marintis card to our hand. Now we can Secret Summon into Dragite. Using Blue Slug and an enemy, we'll Link Summon into our Link 3 Marincess, Marincess Coral Triangle. Coral Anemone is sent to the graveyard, can add a Marincis card to our hand from the graveyard. Seahorse can special summon itself to a zone a Marincis link points to, and we'll use that sea slug to link into Marincis Sea Angel. Now we could have used Triangle to discard Blue Tang to add Marincis Wave to our hand, but since we already have Wave, we don't need to use its effect. Now we can link summon into Argonaut, and the field spell we added to our hand using Sea Angel will let us equip three link monsters from the graveyard to our Argonaut. And we happen to have Leaf Fish in the graveyard, so we're going to shuffle three fish back into the deck to draw a card. And our final board has two Spell Trap Negates with Argonaut and Dragite, and a Hand Trap Marincis Wave to negate monster effects while making our board unaffected by card effects, with Sword Soul Changing to banish a card if a card is banished, and Abyss Sweller to cancel the graveyard. So our opponent normal summons an Amazonas, which has an effect when normal summoned. We negate it with the Marincis Wave Trap card, making all our cards unaffected by card effects. And with that, the opponent scoops. So the goal of this deck is to summon Coelacanth from the hand by Link summoning Abyss Keeper or using Ice Shade Tremora. The Marincis cards can all summon Abyss Keeper with one card. Both Mermaid Shark and Abyss Keeper can search for cards when summoned, so they can be used as hand trap baits, but they are also great for summoning Abyss Keeper. We also have three Coelacanth, three Foolish Goods, and three Small World so we can add Coelacanth to our hand. I'll have more replays later during the event, so goodbye my fish friends.